Right, so <clears throat> I've been working for quite a few years with uh, uh, marketing and uh, one of the things that I've been advocating a lot is the, the idea of data-driven marketing. Uh, what I'm seeing now is that I am starting to reconsider my position because of a few facts. Um, I have worked with crappy creative and I worked with great creative material. And from that experience, I've realized that there is something that data-driven marketing cannot handle. And there are other things that, that creative, only cre like really true good creative uh, can achieve in terms of, of, um, uh, of the desired outcome that we want. Now, the machine of, of data-driven marketing is awesome. The fact that we can actually measure what happens and then make adjustments to whatever it is we're trying to communicate in order to uh, get the results that we want, it's fantastic. However, the evolution or the development of, of data-driven marketing is now moving to a context where it's a, dis it's a discussion of effect and it's a discussion of actually using data in order to build creative that is manipulating people. I believe that both of these uh, uh, are highly problematic. The fact that we're using uh, metrics today to try to say whether or not traditional versus digital marketing, marketing is the best thing to do uh, is a fraud business. And the reason for that is that we actually don't know how um, branding in a digital environment uh, affects our sales. Um, we, we, don't, we simply don't know. There are no, uh, there are some like studies that are assuming things um, based on correlations, but the fact that we don't see any causality in this uh, is quite problematic. We cannot say that a certain way of, of uh, using digital platforms is beneficial to our brand if we detach it from the creative. This is an important uh, uh, distinction. It is the creative that is creating the effect, the digital platforms and the mechanics that they are built on, they are just there to sort of enforce the reach that we get. And um, you really have to learn how to make this distinction because otherwise you start getting sloppy in your, um, your creative work and you focus too much. I've been guilty of this many times that I focus too much on the mechanics and too little on the creative. And that is not a good way of, of operating uh, modern marketing. And so, so what I would like you to, to understand there is that we do need great creative and we do need it to be, um, to, to, to be measured, yeah, but there is no benchmark, there is no facts, there, are no, like, re there is no research made that has come to public attention on how to sort of compare this and to derive a, a good uh, uh, sense of what is happening really. Um, so uh, yes, we can write great ads that we get clicks on and we can measure conversion rates and return on investment on last clicks and even some kind of multi-channel analysis and have a look at whether or not we delivered what we, we, we promised. But uh, without the understanding that uh, it is the creative that sells and not the mechanics that sell, uh, I think the divide there has gone into absurd proportions.